Do not fly Russian airlines. That is the warning from the UK's transport secretary, who says, quote, they can no longer be relied upon to fly safely. This is a growing number of Russian citizens are fleeing Russia to neighboring Georgia as a protest to Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Matt Rivers is out front tonight in Tbilisi, Georgia, with more. Down a Tbilisi side street, across from a church, lies a bar called Grail, a holy place of sorts for a cold lager and a conversation. And bar owner Vikenty Alexeyev, who is Russian, says he's had one particular conversation a lot more lately. Hello, what are you doing here? I just moved three days ago. I just moved three days ago. So there's a lot more Russians coming in. Yeah. And, and why are people leaving? Why people living? Because they're scared. We met about a half dozen such people here, but one stood out. Alisa Kuznetsova left Russia with her husband just a few days after the war began. You couldn't take it anymore after this yes. invasion. It was like a, an additional trigger. I, I just had to leave. The 33-year-old has long been a member of Russia's opposition in favor of democracy, she says, not Putin. This is her being arrested in 2016 while she was working as an independent poll watcher in her hometown in Russia. She says pro-Putin authorities accused her of vague elections violations and held her in detention until voting ended. But the invasion was the final straw. Elisa could no longer live in Russia. Now in Georgia, she wants everyone to know what side she's on. I'm just trying to take it in stride and signal <laughs> as much as I can. With the Ukraine flag there. It's a public show of support matched across Tbilisi. Ukraine flags fly all over in Georgia, a former Soviet republic also invaded by Putin's armies in 2008. Many here have deep sympathy for what Ukrainians are going through. But it's not just about pro-Ukraine sentiment, it's also anti-Putin. So look at this coffee shop door. It says, you are more than welcome here if you agree that Putin is a war criminal and respect the sovereignty of peaceful nations. Pretty clear how the owners of this store feel. Another sign at a shop not far away says in part, Putin is evil. If you do not agree with these statements, please do not come in. Many Russians in Georgia feel the same way. Some even taking part in recent protests where an effigy of Putin was burned. But they're sometimes grouped in with Putin and his supporters nonetheless. Over coffee the day after we met, drinking out of cups emblazoned with Ukraine's colors, Elisa says that a cab driver told her recently that she was one of the good ones because 90% of Russians should be hanged. It's not nice knowing that you're the Nazis now. Back at the bar, every single Russian told us that the vast majority of Georgians have been kind and welcoming and that they're grateful to live in a freer place because everyone we spoke to also said they'll be here for a while. I love my life there, but I'm not returning there anytime soon. And Erin, Elisa told us that she is actually reluctant to speak Russian here in Georgia, even though many Georgians do speak Russian. She says she usually starts communicating with people in English and then will actually ask permission to speak some Russian. Sometimes people say yes, sometimes people say no. Now, according to the latest information from Georgia's government, as of mid-March, more than 30,000 Russians had crossed over from Russia here to Georgia. But those numbers, Erin, have almost certainly gone up. Absolutely. Well, all right, Matt Rivers, thank you very much.